Hey everyone, so now we're back at the main dashboard in another one of my accounts. Go ahead and go back up to lists again. I'm going to choose uh, this learn producing list. And what you want to do is go to manage subscribers. So this is just a good way to see exactly who has signed up to your list and to do a couple actions with them. So if I select them all, I could do a few things. I could move them to a different list. I could copy them to a different list. Or I could add them to a VIP list, which is a sort of segmentation where you can send just those VIP members uh, your content. So you could have a regular email address and a, pre a regular email newsletter and a premium email newsletter. And only people who pay can get the VIP treatment. It's one good way you could add a revenue source later on once you get your email list strong and running. Other than that, there's not too many other things you could do when it comes to managing your subscribers. If someone wants to be unsubscribed, they could do it themselves. However, if they send you an email directly and ask to be unsubscribed, you could do it by clicking unsubscribe addresses here. Just enter their email address and they'll be done. Another thing you could do with managed subscribers is groups. Like I said, you could segment groups and you could also add groups to sign up forms so subscribers can select their own interests. That means they could join more than one of your lists at the same time by segmenting out themselves by interest. The segment section is much of the same. We're going to take a look at it in greater detail at a further lesson, so don't worry about that just yet. And one button you never want to hit is delete all subscribers. To be honest, I don't even know why it's an option there, but it is. I guess that's when you just give up and take your ball and go home. Anyways, see you in the next lesson.